Hey guys, it's Emma, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm whispering because I'm not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> but I did decide to do Becca's Bookopolathon. We are currently in the second sprint, and I've already finished my book. So I read The Backstagers Volume 1. I don't know who it's by. Okay, I pulled up a picture. Oh, wait, I read. The Backstagers, Volume 1, by James Tynion, Ryan Sig, and Walter Biamonte. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was for the prompt, prompt? Prompt to read a book with a dark cover, and it's okay. Um... I was not a theater kid, so I feel like I didn't love it as much as a theater kid probably would. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this was a graphic novel that was a little over 100 pages that's following this new guy, Jordy, who's new to school, and his mom's like, I'm working, you have to get something to do after school so that way I don't have to pick you up. And he's like, okay. So then he goes to drama club, and then the actor's being like pompous, so he like he's asked to like go find something and he goes backstage and he finds the backstagers and then there's sort of like a magical element to it like there's like weird stuff happening back there and I'm like I just wanted to be like what's actually real like it's kind of like almost like magical realism like I don't know like if it's just supposed to be like, like ooh, the allure of backstage or if it's supposed to be like no there's like actually magical shit happening um and then there was a creepy face, and I was like, oh, I did not sign up for that. But, yeah. Overall, I think I'm gonna give it three stars. Um, it was quick and easy. That's why I chose it for this first one. Because it started at 12 GMT, like, in England. But it started at 8 here. So, I'm a granny and like to go to bed at, like, 10 to 11. So, uh, yeah. That was the first book. And now I'm going to go back onto the sprints and then I'm going to continue to read Dare Many Things, which I was reading um, in my last vlog, which I talked about. Um, basically, if you didn't see that vlog, this is about our main character, Cassie, who's an 18 year old trying to win this competition to be an astronaut, basically, and to go off into the super secret, top secret mission that no one knows about. And it's like starts out with 63 18 to 25 year olds from all around the world who are like supposed to be the smartest strongest like those kinds of people but yeah i'm 67 pages in currently and i'm gonna read more of this um because during becca's bookopolathon i feel like i should be explaining what becca's bookopolathon is but i didn't <laughs> basically it started off with um there was two prompts based on the rules. I'll link Becca's video and everything in her channel below. But basically, the first two prompts were either fantasy or fantasy or dark cover. So I chose dark cover. But there is a fantasy element to this, so it actually doubles up for both. So that's cool. Um, and then in 12 hours, or 12 hours from 8 o'clock, so at 8 a.m. my time, um, we'll be getting the next drop for the two prompts. And then you can choose a book who goes with that. So... That is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to reading this so that way if something with sci-fi or light cover or blue cover or three word title or something like that comes up, I can use this. But yeah. So I'm gonna go back. There's only five minutes left on this reading spread because I stopped because I read my book. But I will get back to you guys later. better explaining what's going on in this one but my boyfriend just went to the bathroom so we're gonna try to do this quick so after I finished the first roll which I think I talked about if not I'll insert a clip talking about it now but um 
after I finished the first one, I waited until 8 a.m. this morning for the second rolls. And the ones were POC, um, rep, or contemporary. So I chose this opportunity to read one of my favorite books of all time. Um, Josh Nates' Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. So, like I said, this is a reread for me. I read this the first time in 2018-2019. Um, and this is about our two main characters, Josh and Hazel, <laughs> as you would ensue. And basically, Hazel is just really eccentric and, like, a lot for some people. And so, she's always seen Josh as, like, the perfect guy. But, like, that she was too crazy for him or too out there for him. And that he would never like her because she's, like, made a fool in front of him. A fool of herself in front of him multiple times so she considers herself kind of like undateable um and then the story sort of goes on there from there the synopsis really goes into stuff that doesn't happen until like 100 pages in and it's only 300 pages so I'm not really gonna go into it more than that for you guys just cuz I do really like this um on second reread though I don't know if I would have given it five stars if this was the first time I will say I feel like I read this really fast because I've already read it before um, and I knew what was happening obviously but I still really love our characters um, and this just will always hold a special place in my heart so yeah um, but that being said this did fulfill the contemporary prompt for Bacopal Fun and right now it is three minutes before the next roll drop. I am still reading Dear Mighty Things. I'm about 100 pages in there. And I really hope something's going to pop up where I can read that. Because um, I am really enjoying it. Um, but, yeah. So, we're going to wait and see what the roll drop is. But, so far, I've read 400 pages um, so far in the first half of the readathon. And I'm super happy with that. I don't usually read this much over the weekend because... My boyfriend is distracting, but I'm happy that I am. So yeah, and it was a good excuse to read this book that I bought for the purpose of rereading. So yeah, so I guess I will update you guys once I find out what the next role is and we'll pick my next book. I do work 9 to 12 tomorrow, so not that long of a shift, but enough to be a little annoying. <laughs> but it's all good so the next drop will be at 8 p.m and then 8 a.m tomorrow so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish anything in that in the next 12 hours but it's okay we'll figure it all out <laughs> but overall really enjoying becca's book up one month and super glad that i decided <laughs> last minute day of to join so yeah i'll see you guys with the next roll drop hey guys so it's now sunday afternoon it's 2 46 the prompt that dropped for the like the third set of prompts um happened last night at eight and it was a first in a series or a chance card and I didn't feel like doing chance cards and the book that I've been trying to get into this readathon Dare Mighty Things is the first in a duology so that's what I chose and um, I am still reading that. I am up to page 283, so I'm 75% of the way through. So, <laughs> gonna keep going. Um, the next drop happened at 8 a.m. this morning, my time. Um, and that was other to read something like out of your comfort zone sort of thing. Or... What was the other one? I forgot the other one. Or maybe this one was other or chance I can't remember I think it was other or chance um or something else I don't remember I'm going with other and I think I'm gonna try to read a classic but like a short classic or I might mean to read something else I'll come back to you when I do um figure that out but there's just over five hours left of the readathon and I've got like I said the last 25% of this and then if I want to try to read something else so we will see um oh okay um yeah I don't know I've got to think about what I want to do for this other category but anyways I'm gonna get back to watching this live show and reading oh I forgot to say I am enjoying this it's really good um I don't know I just love sci-fi I really like it I don't know what else to say other than I really like it I'm loving our characters um it's almost 
it does feel like almost like young like if they're 18 to 25 year olds but some of the you know older people are still seeming like they could be on the younger end which nothing bad about that and um yeah i'm just really liking it i don't know what else to say i just keep saying the same thing um hopefully i'll have more concise thoughts after i finish it hey guys and welcome to the end of the vlog so i kind of sucked at vlogging this weekend my bad I had full intentions of having a really interesting book couple thumb reading vlog. I can tell you now that I've watched a few, I definitely do not. <laughs> but thank you guys for staying with me. So I believe where I left off, I was reading Dear Mighty Things for the prompt to read the first book in the series. And I did end up finishing this book and I ended up giving it four stars. I really, really liked this. I think that the competition element was really well done. We started, you know, with 63 contestants and we got to know quite a few of those characters and the friendships that were formed in this, I really enjoyed. I will agree with a lot of the reviews that I saw that the romance in this was super unnecessary and like, it, I like love romance, like don't get me wrong, but like it sort of did take away from this a little bit. I was like, that's, you don't need to go there. Like, no, especially when you say maybe the main character is asexual and then you give her a romantic interest it was like this is it just didn't feel like it needed to happen um that being said i will definitely continue on to the next book it's got very very mixed reviews most people hated it so we'll see how it goes i do already have it though so i don't know when i'll pick that up but i will be picking it up but definitely very solid love sci-fi four stars and then the next book I don't have physically, but for the fourth roll drop, I picked the other challenge, um, which is to read something out of your comfort zone um, that you don't normally read. And I picked up They Call Us Enemy by George Takai, um, which I hope I'm saying correctly, um, which is a graphic memoir about his and his family's time in Japanese internment camps and his like story of his life. And this was one of the most beautiful and poignant stories I've ever seen in my entire life. The artwork was well done and really helped um, captivate me into the um, story. And I read about internment camps before, whether it be the Japanese or other um, variations. And just reading it from a child's perspective, because he was a child when he was in these camps, was so interesting. And just to see, like... Basically, there's so many parallels you can see between that and other things, and not to get political, but there was a lot of good messages, and I just feel like this is, like, almost, like, should be on read, like, alongside, like, Night by Ellie Wiesel. I feel like they're both really important stories on, um, you know, what simply having a different, uh, skin color or a different religion anything can completely be like manipulated and construed into being something horrible and then all these horrible circumstances that happen um and all these horrible things that happen to people so i definitely really really it's hard to say really enjoyed it but i thought it was really important and poignant and really well done so i did end up giving that five stars um highly recommend i read it for free on hoopla through my library um which is my favorite way to read uh, comics. So yeah, overall, a very successful readathon. I don't have like any of the books on me, but I did end up reading four books. Um, just to go through those quickly, I read The Backstages, Volume 1, which I gave three stars, and that was for the prompts to read a book with a dark cover. The next book I read was, I guess I can grab this one, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. This was a reread. Um, I kept the rating of five stars, but if I read this today, probably it would be a four star. This was just one of the first romances I'd ever read and I loved it. Um, but I don't really like to change um, my ratings on rereads. So this is gonna you know, stay a five. And then what I just went over, Dear Mighty Things, four star. And They Call Us Enemy by George Takai um, with a five star. So overall, a very productive weekend. I don't know the last time I read four books in a weekend. Um, certainly not when I was dating my boyfriend, I can tell you that. So overall, 
very happy with it, my progress. Thanks again to Becca for hosting. This was amazing. And all the live shows were super, super fun to participate in. So I will leave Becca and her video down below. And I hope you guys check her out because she is one of my favorites. And I'll see you guys with another video soon. Bye.